A new medical procedure is a giant step forward for people trying to live their lives again after an amputation. Barry Peterson shows us how it works. This is the fun part. I hardly ever get this right the first time. Every time Donna Thornburg attached her artificial leg, it was an equal yeah, it, measure of necessity and pain. Stupid, After a car accident led to her leg amputation in 2017, she spent weekends only doing things like G52, 094, playing bingo. But even that hurt because prolonged sitting twisted the leg. Okay, my leg is completely off. Do you have pain from the socket's bigger circumference than my, my other leg? So you're always sitting sideways, which causes pain in your back and your hips. To the point where walking out of the bingo parlor was a bittersweet reminder of the life she once had. Hike, run, horseback ride, bowl, ski. Have you been able to do this with the prosthesis? No, I can't even walk very far. It's a very difficult. Her walk was assessed by so surgeon Dr. Jason Stoneback of the University of Colorado Hospital so in Aurora. So you can see her upper torso is sort of shifting over mm -hmm. the right side so that she can maintain her balance through her. Her whole body is changing. Right, right. He decided she qualified for a new kind of surgery called osseointegration that he performs. Osseo comes from Latin for bone and integrate to make whole. The idea, insert a titanium rod into the bone. Over the course of several weeks, the bone will grow around the rod and integrate it. The last one I had. One part of the rod sticks out of the leg, where a special prosthesis can be literally snapped on or off. Carol Davis lost her leg to cancer. I just go turning this way. I always have to tell myself, righty tighty, lefty loosey, but and it's off. I can feel it pretty much. Carol has embraced her new freedom with a vengeance. The average amputee walks two million steps in three years. With her new leg, she did two million steps in the first 10 months after surgery. Carol, what has this meant for your life? I can get out and enjoy my life. I can take care of my grandkids. I have 19 grandkids. I go out and I can garden with them. I can. I can do pretty much everything that I couldn't do before with them where I would just be sitting in the house. With a gyroscope and a computer chip, the leg works with her. If I had stepped on something that threw me off balance, mm -hmm. it a would... A twig or a rock right, or something. It would tighten up, so it would just make it firm so that I wouldn't fall down. And it may get a lot better. If nerves in the stump could be linked to the artificial limb, then the brain could control the limb just as it does a normal arm or leg. The first patient was... That's what Dr. Richard Branemark, who helped develop osseointegration in Sweden, is now exploring. We've already seen it work in the movies. Have you ever seen the movie Star Wars? Did you ever see those movies? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember the scene where Luke's arm has been cut off? <laughs> and they attach a robot arm and he can move his fingers and touch. Mm -hmm. That's what you're trying to do, isn't it? Yeah. Can you? I mean, George Lucas dreamed it up. Now it's yeah. just up to you to make it work. No, we don't know. But I'm, I'm normally pretty confident, so I think we can do it. Please. Three weeks after Donna's surgery. Oh my gosh. The first steps. I'm blown away right now. I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> it's beyond what I ever even hoped or thought or imagined. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's crazy, different. It feels like a part of me. For the first moment since she lost her leg, something to celebrate. It's, I, I wish I had words, but I don't have words. No pain? No pain, pain, none. No pain at all. We caught up with her four months after the surgery, after the leg had become her new normal. Are you getting close to the point where it just, you don't even think about it anymore? I hope so. Um, the main thing for me is moving my arms. <laughs> I forget to do that and I'll, I'll start walking like this. Not just walking, but Donna and her granddaughter went a step or two better, breaking into dance. <laughs> Ta-da! 